And the Lord said unto Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of shall she also bear a child which I'm old? Oh. Is anything too hard for the Lord? No. 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 At the time appointed, I will return unto thee. According to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Yes. Amen. Yes. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst, for she was, those didst laugh. That's right. To God be the glory. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. So I thank God this morning. Some may, some may say, Why did I say family? But we are so blessed today. <laughs> But Abraham said, Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No! Everything is possible! He said, When that dissolved, the situation changes. Hallelujah! Amen! And I will thank God. Just during this, that was yesterday, we went to the hospital. I was not feeling good. That was three days ago. I tried to ask her we should go to the hospital. She saw it's maybe due to the environment or the climate. So okay. So we go to the hospital three days ago, they did a test and they say yes, yes, say they asked us to come. So when we went there, according to the doctor, she said she had a seat. So our praise and almighty, we thank God for his blessing. We thank the pastor in the house, we thank the deacons, the, the whole ministries and the prayer meetings. Yes. To God be the glory, may your name be praised. Blessed. Yeah. Just to hear the testimony of every brethren. We don't know how how many brethren have burden in their in the short of their life, but when a brethren, even if they have too much uh, uh, suffering and and uh, things that uh, are heavy, still they can stand up and praise God and testify that God is good and doing things. Amen. For us, it's already impossible, but for God. There is nothing hard for him. Everything yeah. is impossible. It's possible. Amen. Amen. God be the glory. So is there anybody else? Amen. Maybe we could have a, we could use the, the the chance for my brother, Brother Bong. Where's Brother Bong? Oh, brother Bong is here. Brother Bong. Uh, I am glad to say to the Lord this morning. Amen. Because our other brother is there. We pray for him. So, I invite this brother Bob to sing to the Lord this morning. We have to sing a Tagalog song. Uh, everybody will be blessed for this song. Amen. If you want, if you if you feel you're blessed, you can sing with with us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The title of the song is uh name brother Bob. Everybody will be blessed. How many here want to be happy? Amen. 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 That's the title of the song. Amen. Amen. Maybe the Giligaya and you what? That means you will be happy in your entire life. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's what the meaning of the song. Giligaya and you why? That's why we want to song to sing to open a song to the Lord because we are very happy to be in the midst of our brethren, the rights of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I would like to thank God also uh, for the healing of my two kids. Amen. And uh, he's already healed with a fever and cough. Amen. And I talked to a sister wife, just uh, trust in the Lord. That's right. That's right. The Bible said, no doubt in the Lord. Yes. Trust. True. Just trust, trust, trust in the Lord. The Lord of your heart. I praise him. Amen. And I uh, will. The first song, even this uh, Tagalog song. If you know, you can uh, join us to worship the Lord. Amen. <laughs>
not to say that our church is big, it's a beautiful church. It is the word of God that we invite a person because it is the soul is important for God, not anything else. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God to God be the glory. Amen. So we have five minutes more to go, or uh, four minutes more to go. If there is one more, we will give a chance. One more present that want to testify. So if no more, I beg everybody to stand up and Amen. let's go to the Lord this morning and let's sing the song. The blesser of all blessings. Amen.
na Lord, so sa bigyan po ng Lord, Lord, sila po ay makapagpapalawag po sila. Alam namin, Panginoon, lahat ng mga bagay, Lord, nagagalit siya, wala pong iba pong nabuti. Wala mong source, Panginoon, ng aming po, Lord, ng aming mga pinagpapagpapalan. Kaya po, Lord, natas namin sa iyo, at pinupuli ka namin, pinasasalabatan ng ilang sa mga presi, kung isa po ay Panginoon, Lord, sa aming mga Lord, gagamitin mo sa ako nito, Panginoon. Lord, ito po, Panginoon, magbukas sa mga Lord, sa mga salita, Panginoon, na may lalatag, Panginoon, na po namin sa Ikasya ng Espiritu, Panginoon. At mga namin po, kapatid, Panginoon, sa mga Lord, sa gagamitin mo sa ako nito, at ipagpapala, Panginoon, ito'y dumari, Panginoon, hanggang sa Lord, ito po ay madala namin sa aming mga tahanan, Panginoon. At Lord, alam mo po, Panginoon, ang kalagayan na aming puso, ang mga kondisyon, Panginoon, na aming puso, Panginoon. Lord, ikikigit nga ang nakakalang, Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Narito kami, Panginoon. Alam po namin na may rason, Panginoon. Kaya kami narito. Hindi lang po para mag-fellowship, Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hindi lamang po pagsama-sama kami ulit. Panginoon, alam namin na meron kang inaayos sa bawat isa, Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Amen. Po ay, yan, Lord, hiniling namin na, Panginoon, ikaw po ang nagsimula sa amin at ikaw po sa tapos, Panginoon. Lord, ang makapangyarihan mo sa ita, ay, Lord, lahat siya po, Lord, ang may hiyak sa araw nito, Panginoon. At ako po rin mo ang lugar na ito, Panginoon. At uh, ikaw po, Panginoon, na siya nga, Lord, uh, tumasok sa puso ng mga upin sa Panginoon. Tayo po salamat. Tayo po lahat na po yan. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And before we call our Father to preach the Word of God, our Master, Father Dandy, can we sing that song that says, The Battle is of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. All more things that we have this morning, There is only one man that we can trust. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. I can give him all the glory. Amen. The battles of the Lord. Amen.
that's it this morning. Amen. If uh, just by the songs that uh, we sing, all those songs that we have sung together, that was the start of the blessing. Amen. Amen. By just seeing the smiling faces of our brethren, we are already blessed. Amen. Amen. Feeling the presence of our Lord, we are already blessed. Top of that, more blessings will come. Amen. That's why never say that you are not victorious once you get out of every church, every messages, every services that you attend. You are always victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. I would uh, like to acknowledge the uh, the presence of the family of Sister Ching, Sister Rina, and uh, last. Uh, Tuesday, we were able to dedicate the daughter of Sister Rina. Yeah. And they have the desire to uh, share the full message to the family, to the, to the mother of Sister Rina, Sister Gemma. And uh, let's pray for them. Yeah. I know that they will be returning back soon. How long more will they be staying for another week? So they will be staying for another oh, week. Wow. And after that, it's just That's a temporary good. visit yeah. that they. Uh, the reason for their uh, visit here is temporary. They celebrated the birthday of Sister Gemma and the birthday of Sister Blessed Rain Amen. and the dedication and uh, the desire of the hearts of our brethren is uh, for the family to accept the Lord. Right. Amen. 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 And we know that the Lord will work in our hearts. Amen. 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 Lord. The Lord uh, will uh, give the desire of our hearts. Yes, that's so, right. And we already claim that. Amen. So uh, this morning, uh, we will be. Uh, I would like uh, to announce that I will be leaving on uh, on Sunday. Yes, God, amen. But I will return on Thursday. Amen. amen. So, <laughs> I will be around on Tuesday, so I will be trusting the church uh, the activity on Tuesday uh, night to the people of the church. And uh, Friday we'll be seeing each other again. Amen. So let's uh, pray for for this uh, Jewish travel that uh, the protection from the Lord will be there, Amen. and uh, that uh, I may be able to study the Word while I'm traveling, Amen. and uh, uh, the Lord be with us always. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we would like uh, by next week maybe we'll be announcing the selection of the new deacons, the new trustees of the church. And uh, we may be able to present them to the church by next uh, week, next Sunday, or next Friday. Amen. Uh, so, uh, same thing with the uh, the song leader that we have chosen. I knew some some new MCs that uh, will be coming to uh, to to the team of the brethren who serves the Lord. Uh, aside from the musicians, I know that everybody is serving the Lord. Right. Remember, each and every role that you have inside the church is as important as the role of anybody else. That's right, that's so, right. So by listening to the word, that's as important as preaching the word. Amen. So because uh, if you're, whatever we're preaching here and you didn't pick that up, mm -hmm. it's not going to make sense at all. Exactly. So it is very important that if your ministry is to pick up that word, go to that ministry that's and right. yeah. go to that ministry. <laughs> oh, wow. So everybody, every one of us is doing a ministry unto the Lord. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. So this morning, uh, uh, the past few weeks we have already studied uh, hatred, where it originated, where it came from, what's the reason behind it, and one of the reasons that we have discussed was bitterness. And I know that uh, we have more materials on that side, but uh, we will be breaking that uh, series, and uh, this morning we would like to discuss something uh, something about uh, the reason behind all these things and uh, we would like uh, to hit on hard on the enemy and we'll keep hitting the enemy hard until he's beaten in our midst right. so hallelujah and this morning uh, our our message is about turning the darkness into light yes amen. let's open up our scripture uh, in in acts chapter 26 Acts 26, this is the story of Saul 
uh, during the conversion of Saul. And after Saul was converted, his name was changed to Paul. But uh, Saul, uh, Paul has a purpose why that happened. And let's see that purpose. And uh, uh, let's read the scripture from 14 to 18. Verses 14 to 18. Acts 26, verses 14 to 18. And when we were all fallen on the ground, this was the time that Paul is on his way to Damascus and he met the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and when we were fallen to the earth, I heard the voices speaking unto me and saying the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? <clears throat> it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, What? Who art thou, Lord? So Paul has been persecuting the Jews and persecuting all the people who follows the Lord Jesus Christ. And the only thing that he knows is that the Lord Jesus Christ is uh, was in the pillar of fire during the time of Moses. <clears throat> so when he said, that, uh, Who art thou, Lord? And uh, he said, And this is the time that uh, uh, Paul was blinded by a light. And he knew that that was the pillar of fire that uh, was presented to Paul. And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. He knows that it is the Lord. It's because of the light that blinded him and because of the pillar of fire. So he recognized the pillar of fire. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. So there's a purpose why he appeared to Paul that time. To make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I will appear unto thee. So for the things that he has already witnessed and the things that will be coming to him. <clears throat> Delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom uh, now I send thee. That's why Paul became the very first minister to the Gentiles. Yeah. It is not, it is not uh, Peter, as what uh, some other churches claim. So it's uh, Peter was not the first apostle, or for to the Gentile, or Peter was not the first pope, but it was Paul who was the first minister yes. to yeah. the Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah. I will appear unto thee, and uh, uh, I now who unto whom now I send thee. To open their eyes, the very purpose why he's been sent is to open the eyes of whom? The Gentile people, and to turn them from the darkness to light. It means that the whole Gentile people and community is in the darkness. So the very purpose why Paul was sent, why the messenger was sent, the very purpose why Paul, the messenger was sent, is to turn the darkness, the people from darkness into light. <coughs> And from the power of Satan, it means the dark, that darkness that the God is telling us is the power of Satan. The power of Satan unto God, which is the light. So God is the light, the darkness is the power of Satan. That they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance. Inheritance means all the privileges that you will be getting, all the promises that God has told you. You won't be able to receive that. You won't remember. There's a prop. There's a, there's a statement is there that you won't be able to receive that until you have been turned. So it is important of the turning is there for you to receive the inheritance. If there's no turning, you won't be able to receive that inheritance. Inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. This is the word of the Lord. One more, once more, Father, we pray unto you and uh, we approach your throne, O oh Lord. And, uh, uh, we may open that uh, we open up your word, O oh Lord, and quicken it. Uh, that's what we pray for this morning. We control this uh, service, O oh Lord, and uh, we we ask you to sanctify each and every vessel, sanctify our altars this morning, Father, that uh, we may be able to receive your blessings fully, and that we may be worthy to commune with you this morning. Uh, Father, control this uh, this service, O oh Lord. We invite your Holy Ghost to roam freely in our hearts, in our soul, and in our minds. Let us focus in your word that we may receive the expectation that we have. 
uh, until the end of the service for the whole day that uh, this uh, this uh, blessings this uh, provision that we'll be getting will be able to sustain us for the whole week or until on our daily basis uh, on our daily living thank you all father uh, we offer this service unto you as uh, we offer it in your most precious name our lord jesus christ amen, amen. amen. hallelujah let us all be seated <coughs> Hallelujah. So this morning, there's uh, some something that is of the darkness and something that is of the light. Something that is of the power of Satan, that is something that is the power of God. So those are the two kingdoms that we keep on telling. That's, those are the two powers that we keep on discussing in this pulpit from time to time. Most of the service we've been discussing the good and the bad. So again, this morning it's about the good and the bad, but exposition of the bad is... Uh, is very important for you to know where you work on. Exposition, that's why we keep on hitting that bitterness and hatred last time. So because those are the dark forces that keep on boggling our minds, boggling our souls. And uh, it's staying in our hearts that all the root of bitterness must be taken off exactly. and taken out. <clears throat> so the importance of that was there. So right now, we want uh, everybody to understand that there's some darkness that we call and the darkness is, uh, there's a power in the darkness that uh, uh, not unless you fully understand, you won't be able to counter it back. So studying these dark forces is not the dark forces just like uh, what you hear from. Uh, it's, not, it's not that uh, uh, we're studying it for you to, to use it, but uh, you study it because you want to counter that. Amen. Uh, with the help of the word of the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, we, we have heard that uh, there's a purpose for all that uh, for you to receive the inheritance and for you to receive the forgiveness of sins. Receiving the inheritance and receiving the forgiveness of sins, it is important, very important, that you turn from darkness into light. That you turn away from the power of Satan to uh, unto God. In First Thessalonians, let's open up oh, first, uh, first Corinthians 4 first. Let's open up First Corinthians 4. First Corinthians 4 and uh, 4 verse 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come. When we say, therefore, judge nothing before the time. Now, this is Paul. Remember, Paul was the first messenger minister to the Gentile. So, Paul now was sent to the Corinthians. And uh, the, the message of Paul to the Corinthians, let no man, uh, for uh, therefore, judge nothing before time. When we say time, that is the judgment thing. That's the judgment day. So, you, everyone has no right to judge anyone That's right. before time. You can adjust your, your colleagues, you can adjust your brothers or your brethren or your sister or whoever until before time. Amen. You will be judging with the Lord. There's no doubt about that. Yes. If you are a bride of God, you will be sitting with Him judging the world. Amen. Even judging the angels. But that is not, don't do it before the time. Yes. Amen. When we say before the time, that is the judgment time. Are you following us? Yes. So, judge no one, uh, therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord come. Until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness. So when the Lord comes, there's an enlightenment of what the darkness is hiding. That's right. Until such time that the Lord comes, you will never understand that there's something hidden things from the darkness side. So when you haven't seen the Lord yet, meaning individually, I'm not talking about uh, the time that He just came on earth. I am talking about when you meet the Lord. Because when you are with the world, you do not understand the darkness of the world. It's because you're part of that darkness. Are you following me? But when you meet the Lord, that's the only time that you will be able to understand the hidden things of the darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Otherwise, no one will tell you. Otherwise, you're not going to get out of that darkness. It's because that you didn't understand the hidden things of the darkness. So, when Paul was telling them, don't judge anyone until the time. When the Lord comes, He will open up everybody's heart to understand what are the things of the hidden things of darkness. Yes, amen. Are you following it? Yes, amen. <clears throat> Who both will be uh, will bring to light? Uh, until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest 
the counsels of the hearts it will make manifest the counsels the desires of your heart whatever if you have dark desires in there it will be manifested remember last time when we said sin if there's a bitterness in you it will take some time but eventually it will manifest out Amen. it's because it's a sin that is in your heart so if there's some good things in your heart, it will take some time, but it will manifest that good thing. If you have the seed of God, it will take some time, but the seed of God will manifest in you. Amen. So when you haven't known about God yet, but the seed was already there, time will only tell until such time that it gets manifested out. Amen. But whether it's a sin or whether it's a good seed that you have, whether it's a bad seed or a good seed, it will manifest. Remember that. So whatever you are hiding, you cannot hide that from the Lord or from anyone else because it will manifest. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It will manifest. That's right. Are you following me, church? Yes. Amen. That's right. So that's, that's the thing that uh, Paul was telling us, okay? So uh, who, who what will bring the light, the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsel of the heart. But he is not referring to the good things, but because he is referring to the hidden things of darkness. And then shall every man have praise of God. So when we say uh, in the last days or in the time of the, that the Lord will come, remember the Lord has already come. Everybody believes that the Lord has already come. He came in the form of the Word. He came in the form of the Word. When the Word has been revealed unto us, the Lord Jesus Christ has come. So when He came, it means He is already here. That's why the, the hidden things of the darkness is starting to be revealed. That's right. All the things that we have discussed previously, all, all whatever messages you have read, all those things that open up your mind, those are the revelation of the hidden things. Yes. Yeah. So when the word has come, when the God, when the Lord Jesus Christ has come, the Lord has come, and He came, and that was a rapture that we call. Yes. But when we say a rapture, remember that the rapture is a process. We keep on telling everyone. We have brought it several times on the whiteboard that rapture is a process. Open up in First Thessalonians. <clears throat> uh, uh, just uh, to get a background for for uh, those who were not able to hear this before. First Thessalonians 4, this is a normal, uh, everybody knows this. All the whole denominational world, the whole Christian, Christianity knows about this verse. And we call it the rapture. Thessalonians 4, 5. <clears throat> for the Lord, for, it's uh, 416. First Thessalonians 416. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead of Christ, of, of in Christ shall rise. When he said that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven, the, the Lord has descended in the form of the word. Right. Amen. When he descended in heaven, there would be a shout. Yes. That's why you were called out of your denominational teachings and your denominational beliefs. Yes. So that shout has started working in each and every heart. Remember, when we said that there's a shout even before you were baptized. Remember, baptism is just an outward expression yes. of the inner inward work of grace. That's right. That's right. Amen. Baptism, water baptism, that is not your salvation. Exactly. Oh. Water baptism is an outward expression. This is the way you, you, you want to you want to testify that there's something that happened inside. That's right. That's right. Are you following me right? Yes. When something happened inside, that's the time that you say, I want to be baptized. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. So there's a, the, the, the work of grace has started working in you internally. After it worked in you, that's the time that you came out. And that was the shout in you. Yes. When we say that there's a shout, well, uh, the, 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 and the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, it is a long process happening in each and every yes. individual. Yes. Shout, you were taken out to go to the true word of God. Oh my. The voice of the archangel was the voice of resurrection. Yes. 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 From that you were alive again. Yes. It means that you receive your new birth. Amen. 
Are you following me? Amen. Once you receive your new bed, it means that you got baptized with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. When you got baptized, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're already perfected 100%. Oh, right. When you got baptized with the Holy Ghost, remember, the Holy Ghost can, can come and fill you. You can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, but the Holy Ghost will also fill you. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. So, it's, if you have some weaknesses, if you have some faults in you, that is normal. But you have to offer that to God for that weaknesses to be taken out. Because you cannot do that alone. You cannot fight that alone. You are too weak to fight it all. And then the trump. We are now in between the, the, uh, the voice and the trump. Remember, the trump is that's the changing of the body. It's because the drum, after it blows, yeah, everything, the grace will turn back, will, the grace will be no more. no more. Because everything will be returning back to Israel. That's why they have the seven trumpets afterwards. The trumpet is for the Israel, it's not for us. The trumpet for us is just the gathering. Come on, gather together and then we have to meet the Lord in the air. That is our trumpet, and then it will return, it will turn. The grace will be no more for the Gentiles. Ended. Hallelujah. Even if you ask for forgiveness, no you are you are done. Hallelujah. You cannot say, God forgive me for what I did. There's no more. It's because grace has, is, is has ended. Hallelujah. So that's, that's the rapture. So we're telling us that uh, there is darkness in between. So from the time that Paul received the light, until the time that we have the trumpet, there is darkness in between. And you are in the darkness until you see the light. Until you get out of the light. You won't be able to be forgiven. Your sins will remain with you if you get if you don't get out of the darkness. Are you following it? So we have to study that what is the darkness for you to understand. <coughs> Ezekiel, let's go back again to all those uh, uh, verses that we have discussed in the previous weeks. Ezekiel 28, this is the time of uh, Lucifer. <clears throat> Just to understand who is and what he's doing, what's his desire, what his motives. What his motives are. Sabi in 28 in 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, he's talking to Ezekiel, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyros. When we say the king of Tyros, we're talking about the man. Are you following the scripture? Amen. When Ezekiel started talking, uh, God started talking to Ezekiel, he's saying that there's a certain king, and that king is the King Tyrus, king of Tyre, and he's saying that uh, that man, uh, take all these things to that man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, thou, seal, uh, thou sealest up the psalm full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. So is he talking to the, he's now talking, he, these are the things that he has to tell the king of Tyrus. Just follow me please on this. These are the things that God has instructed Ezekiel to tell the king of Tyrus. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Tyrus, the king of Tyrus was just born in that time. This is 588, 588 BC. If it's 588 BC, Eden was there a long time back, 600 years ago. Are you following me? So how can the king of Tyrus be in that age when he's telling, telling uh, Ezekiel is telling the king that you have been in Eden? So he was not talking about the man. He's not talking about the flesh. Are you following? He's not talking about the king himself. He's not talking about the flesh, but the one that is possessing the king. So there is an evil spirit who possessed that king. And that evil spirit is Satan himself. That evil spirit was Satan himself. That's why he was saying, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone. 
uh, uh, was they covering? The Sardius, Topaz, and Diamond, the Beryl, the Onyx, and the Lloyd Jasper, the Sapphire, the Emerald, and the Carbon Kill, and Gold, the workmanship of thy tablets. And of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. <clears throat> so he was just a creation. So when he was just a creation, we know that everything that is created has an ending. Are you following me? Thou art the anointed Shurum that covereth, and I have set thee so thou wast upon thy holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. We are talking about Lucifer. We are talking about Lucifer in man. Nasa tao po si Lucifer. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Just to prove that Lucifer can go inside a man. That's why we read it. After that, let's open up the book of Daniel. In Daniel 10.10, 10, In Daniel 10, And behold, a hand touched me, which set upon me, my knees, and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, O Daniel, and he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved. So this was, this was uh, Gabriel. This was an angel of the Lord. This was an angel of the Lord talking to, to Daniel that time. And he said unto me, Daniel was a man who keeps on praying that time. This was the time that, uh, you know, the, in history, you know that there are four kingdoms that conquered the whole world. Remember? It started in Babylon. After that was Iraq. After Babylon came in the Persians. The mid -pers the middle person, right? Remember, that's why in the time of Daniel, he was in Babylon. After Babylon, he went to he went to King Darius. Darius, King Nebuchadnezzar was the time of Babylon. King Darius was the time of Persians. Mid middle person, that's a middle person age. After that, the Greeks will come. The Greeks will come. Remember Alexander the Great. So Babylon, the middle person age, and then Alexander the Great, which is the Greeks, and then the Roman came in, and after that, the Roman kingdom went down and it became a spiritual kingdom that they became the, 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 the system. Right. You're still following me? Yes. Yes. This time, he was talking about Daniel in the middle Persian age. I just want to plot the time so that you will be able to imagine it. And he said unto me, Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright for unto thee I am now sent. Because Daniel was, has been praying for so long to reach God. And he cannot find any answers from God. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Daniel, when he recognized that there was a God, or there was the angel of God talking to him, he was trembling in front of him. And, and said unto me, fear not Daniel, because he saw that he's trembling. Fear not Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten, can you put it out, brother? Uh, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine hand to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. So by the time that you started praying, God is already hearing your prayers. Yeah. When you started praying, when Daniel started praying, God has already all the prayers that we prayed for, it already reached God. So then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Amen. I am the answer to your prayers. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. So there was now a king of Persia Remember earlier it was a king of Tyros. Remember earlier it was a king of Tyros. Now from the king of Tyros, the spirit in the king of Tyros has moved to a different man. And now he's calling that there's a king on the prince of... So the angel of the Lord is supposed to, to go to Daniel immediately. 
Are you following me? Yes. However, somebody hold him, and it's nothing that is not 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 something that is so personal, of personal, of physical, not something that is natural. Yes. An angel of the Lord can he is a spiritual being. He's a supernatural being, Lord. and the only thing that can hold me hold him is another supernatural being. Amen. So he said that Daniel. So, I, I'm supposed to go there to answer your prayers. I heard the prayer. It's already with me. But somebody help me. Somebody help me to issue on time. I'm on my way to go to you. But somebody help me for 21 days. Are you seeing it, brother? So, your prayers... Just wait, because there will be a reply. God is just looking for the patience. Because whatever prayers you need, you don't know what's holding him back. You do not know what's holding him back. And do you 21 days that somebody is holding for 21 days? But I'm supposed to go to you. Are you seeing it, right? Amen. So kaya, yung iba po, some, some of us keep rushing God. Where's my answer, Lord? Why, why not? I keep on praying for how many years now? Just wait at the perfect time. It will happen. It happened with Sister Sarah right now. We've been praying for that. And right now, it's the perfect time. Hallelujah. And it came. <laughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat> so somebody hold, somebody held him, and it's a spirit in a man. That's true. That's right. Let's go back to that scripture again. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee. And as in twelve, then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from far the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand. And to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for that words. So he's on his way. But the prince of kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. So somebody helped him. He went to a different battle. When he went to a battle, a different battle, there is Michael who assisted him. Yes! Hallelujah. There is Michael who assisted him. So an angel needs another angel to be assisted to win a battle. The supernatural things are asking for help. Supernatural things are asking for assistance. Hallelujah. Even the demons will be asking for some help and support and assistance to go for that battle. And imagine us right now. And he's standing on our world saying that I can survive alone. You cannot survive because even the supernatural is looking for some assistance. You will be needing the assistance of each of every brethren. All of us need the support of each and every individual. You cannot say that I am. I am this and I am I, I have everything. You cannot say that. Because you need each and every part of the body for you to be perfected. Each and every part of the body, you need it for us, for our perfection. You cannot say that I'm just going to worship God alone in my room. You cannot. You need the fellowship. You need the fellowship. Don't say that uh, you have everything. You don't have everything. That's right. Are you getting it right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Even Michael held an angel of the Lord. Angel of the Lord asking for assistance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you being blessed? Yeah. <laughs> one of the chief princes came to help me, Michael. So one of the chief princes, it means that there are many princes. There are many chief princes. 
So, and uh, remember, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. So he was with the prince of Persia, and then he still stayed back with the kings of Persia. Oh my. Oh. There's something that I would like you to see. So there's the prince of Persia, there was the king of Tyrus, and then he moved to the prince of Persia, and then he went back, he stayed back for the kings of Persia. While Michael came back as one of the chief princesses, princess, <coughs> that helped him. And now I come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is of many days. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> and when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. And behold, one like the similitude of the sons of man touched my lips, and then I opened my mouth and spake and said unto him, That stood before me, O my Lord, by the vision, my sorrow, are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. After all these things that he has seen, he, he, is, uh, he, he became weak. For how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk with this, my Lord? For how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk with this, my Lord? For as for me, straightway, there remained no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. When there came again and touched me, one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. So when he started, he, with all the visions that Daniel received, he became weak. With all the things that he received, he became weak. All the things that you keep on seeing, sometimes you became weak. Amen. The thing that will make you strengthen is because once the darkness opens up in you, sometimes that becomes your downfall. It's because you're looking it on the negative side. Are you following? When all these hidden things came up and keeps an opening into your minds, into your hearts, into your soul. Sometimes you're taking it differently. Once you look at it on the negative side, it will bring you down. It will make you weak. Are you getting it, right? So once this, however, there's a different perspective that you can do. That once you see this, you can look at it on the positive side. But sometimes if you are so weak that you need something to assist you to get your strength back. And Daniel was saying that, Oh Lord, when I met that servant, when I met that angel that you sent, my, I regained my strength back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 18. Then there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man. And he strengthened me. Hallelujah. And said, Oh man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be unto thee, be strong. Ye be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened. Amen. Who was one that, who was that man who was like unto the Son of Man? It is God Himself. Amen. When God is talking, he started talking back to Daniel. Daniel said that, Oh Lord, your word was sufficient to make me strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my. You are seeing the hidden things of the darkness is unfolding. The darkness is unfolding in your midst. If you look at it differently on the negative side, you will be weak. However, going back to the Word of God, listening back to the Word of God, will give you that strength. Hallelujah. There is a source. Amen. And the only thing that you have to do is to come back and listen to the Word. If you feel weak, come back and listen to the Word. If you feel weak, come back and listen to the Word. It's because it is the Word of God that will make you feel strong once again. Don't go back and stay back in your houses. Because it will not help you. If you feel strong, if you feel weak, go back to the Word. Amen. Listen to the word of the Lord. Amen. And you will regain your strength back. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> and I'm just on the first page of my oh my notes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In uh Remember, there was the prince of the kingdom of Persia, as we were saying. 
So there are different ranks. There's some princes, there's some kings, there's some chieftains. So these these angels or this uh, this uh, uh, these spirits that they battle on a supernatural state. Remember, they are not. not they're, those are not natural states. So they are. They are on the kings. They are on the princess. When they, when we say that they are on the kings and the princess, they are in the government. Yes. They are in the power on those people who own. Yes. They are on the power who owns the politics. Are you seeing it? They are on the power. They are on the people who rules the politics because they are in the government places. They are on the people who rules the religious group. So that's the thing that they battle with. So get out from politics. <laughs> Stay away from politics. It's because all politics is not of God. All politics is not of God. It will just bring you down. Are you following me? Yes. yes, you have a concern on each and every country. We have problems in all our country. But even you cannot be solved. There are already too many minds that got together to resolve things, but they could not. Yes. The only politics that you concern with is your relationship with God. Fear the politics. <laughs> Politics that you have a good relationship. Amen. That's the thing that I was saying. Not in a different way of politics. Amen. <laughs> it's a good relationship with yes. God. Amen. So it started with the politics. It's, it goes to your health as well. The health system. All the system that existed that they is working in there. Exactly. And it's sitting in each and every in, in each and every head. That's why he was he was he was in the prince of this. He was in the king of that. He was in the prince of this. There are too many people who is being controlled by Satan. Amen. That's the darkness now that covers the world. I, am, I just want to let you know that the darkness that covers the world all over the places. In different ranks, in different positions. <clears throat> so there's a battle that will come. But before that, there's a battle that existed. In one of the messages that we receive, I'm just going to read it to you. Now let's take back to Cain. Let me, let's, uh, let's uh, take back to Cain. Could you tell, could you tell me where that spirit and that menace came from? Remember Cain? Si Cain po. Kakilala niyo si Cain. Everybody knows Cain. Amen. Si Cain, the menace in the spirit. There's uh, something, uh, where did it came from? That's the very question. Could you tell me where that spirit that Midas came from? If Cain, look, if Cain was the son of Adam, if Cain was the son of Adam, which was the son of God, where did that evil came from? If Cain was the son of Adam, and Adam was the son of God, how come that the evil came? It started. So the first thing, uh, the first thing when the, he was born, he hated. Exactly. First thing when he was born, he already hated. He was a murderer from the very beginning. He was jealous. Yes. Yes. Jealousy was built in him. And now take that nature of his daddy. Mm. So that didn't come from Adam because Adam is not jealous and Adam is not, he's not a murderer. He was not hated. So who was his daddy? The very start in the beginning. Lucifer and he was in the beginning. He was jealous of Michael. That's right. It started right. from there. Oh, he was yeah. jealous of Michael. What yes. started the whole trouble? Yes. Oh, what started the whole trouble? Mm -hmm. How many knows that? And Cain was the nature of his father, which was he was jealous of his brother and he slew him. Now, Michael, let's just talk about Michael. Remember Michael? Uh, uh, brother Branham told him, told us that he's just, he's just another, he's just another vessel that was used by God. Exactly. exactly. So Michael was God himself, but he condescended in that vessel. That's why when he started saying he is the captain of the host, no other, there, there, there are no other captain of the host but God himself. That's why even in the Old Testament, once you read Old Testament, you will be fighting, you will be seeing that I am, I will be fighting, fighting for you, I will be leading the battle. It is always God who is the captain of the host. And that was Michael. God condescended into that body 
And that's where the battle started. It's because that Lucifer, he was already the most beautiful. Oh, my. He was already the most beautiful cherub. He got all the jewels. He has everything in him. Amen. Amen. But he still wants something in Michael. Oh, my. He wants more. There's something that he saw in Michael that he was still to take. Well, he was already the right hand God of God, the right hand man of God. Are you following me? So that's where jealousy started coming in. It's because that there is something in him. There's some attributes in Michael that he can never get. Because in the first place, he was not a creator. While God is a creator. He cannot create things while God can create things. He doesn't, he doesn't know the whole things because he is not omnipotent God. Well, Michael was an omnipotent God. He was not an omniscient God. Well, Michael was an omniscient God. So those are the things that uh, so uh, see he want he wanted something out that Michael possesses that he says that I have to rebel. And he started doing his uh, rebellion. In the, in, in, he started doing the rebellion and he started doing the, the battle in heaven. Oh, wow. Continuing on our reading. <clears throat> and he was jealous of Michael what started the whole trouble. How many knows that? And Cain was the nature of his father which he was jealous of his brother and slew him. The nature could not come out of the pure seed. It had to come out of his perverted stream. Oh because Adam has never been, he has no perverted stream no, no, because no. Adam came from God. So there is no point that uh, 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 Adam will be perverted. And notice Cain as soon as he was born. Hallelujah. In the message Mark of the Beast in 1961. Now we find out he was the first murderer and he was the first one to have jealousy. Who was that? It was Lucifer got jealous of Michael. Brought it right down to the earth and transferred it to the man. Imagine this. When the jealousy started in earth, uh, in the heaven, and the battle started in the heaven. Yes. So, uh, after, after all the battles and God has kicked them out of the heaven, that battle continued on the ground. Exactly. Amen. It never stopped. It never stops. So whatever things that uh, uh, the, the Lucifer has, whatever things, because it's not just Lucifer, it's Lucifer who was thrown out. Remember in Revelations, in Revelations, even the one third of the stars were taken down. So one third of the angels went with Lucifer that went to the earth. So those angels have different hierarchies. Those angels have different ranks in the position. Oh, are you following me? Amen. Amen. There are people in class of the angels in that position. So those angels have powers. Do you believe that? Yes. Amen. Amen. If they are battling against the angels of the Lord, they are powerful. Are you following me? Yes. Satan is battling against Michael. He is powerful. So when they went, they went when they were thrown down to the earth. Do you think what power they got? Oh, my. They can receive. The power was never taken, was, oh. was not taken off. They were still in the supernatural yes. realm. Yes. Amen. When they were still in the super, that's why they still have, they possess that power. But before they're using it for good, now they're, they're using it for evil. Exactly. That's uh. their cause. Amen. Darkness was all over the earth. Exactly. Inside the church. Oh my roaming around. Amen. That's why every time that we ask and we every time that we start our prayer, we are asking for the guidance of the Holy Ghost to control our service. To control our service. Darkness is there, taking your mind out of the message. Darkness is there, making you sleep inside the church. Hallelujah. He can't do it. Darkness is there. Putting your heart on what you're thinking differently. Amen. Rather than listening to what is being preached, your mind is roaming out. Hallelujah. What was that? It was the darkness roaming around. Hallelujah. Darkness roaming around. Amen. The devil will try to remove your mind out of, from listening to the word. 
The devil will try to remove your focus from hearing the word. Amen. He is happy with that. Yes. If those devils, remember, devil is not an omnipresent devil. No. No. The difference between God and Satan, God is omnipresent. Yes. Well, devil can only be at one place at one time. Yes. The devil can only be at one place at one time. That's right. He cannot be here right now and he's in India or he's in, the, in, in Nigeria or he's in Ghana. No, he cannot. He's not God. Amen. While God can be all over the places at any time. He can be in your hearts right now. He can be in my heart. He can be in the different place. God. That's the difference. So, how can you, as humans now, fight against the power of the devil? Well, those devil has fought with them, with the, with, with Michael. That's right. Those devil fought hardly with Michael, and it even stopped the angels. Those devil stop the angels. The devil, the, the, the angels that will bring the answers to your prayers. Oh, that's their work. That's their job. They're yeah. stopping those. That's power. That's how powerful they are. Yes. Are you following me, Brian? Yes. Are you following me? Oh, These God. demons now. So Satan with his oh, angels, he has too many demons. Yes. They are no longer. They are not Satan's well, but they are the angels of Satan on different ranks. Different powers, different things that they can do in you, different things that they can do in your flesh, things that they can do on your mind. So it's a different type of devil that work in your mind, it's a different type of devil that work in your flesh. Different hierarchy of the devils. But even if they have hierarchy, God has different types of hierarchy. That God who kicked them out of the heaven is the same God that you have in your heart. Yeah. Or the God that kicked them out from the heaven is saying you have no, you have no right in the heaven. Bring your angels with you. The God who kicked them out of the heaven is the same God who dwells in your heart. Same God who dwells in your heart. You cannot win over those devils. You cannot win over those demons. But there is something greater than anything that can win your battle. Something that is greater. Because you cannot fight it alone. Amen. You have no power to fight it alone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. They're fighting demons, they're fighting Amen. angels of the Lord, they're fighting archangels of the Lord. They will never win. The only thing that you can say, I have that king who kicked you out. Amen. Hallelujah. And he will do the same right now. Amen. At this very minute. At this very hour. He will do the same. Amen. Whatever you have, He will kick out the devil in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Just imagine all these things that were shown to us. We don't know all these things. Except somebody opened this unto us. Both. And this is the place. It's a different. Uh, it's a different dimension that uh, that uh, uh, our prophet has seen. It's a different revelation. The things that the things that you're hearing that keeps on that keeps you keep your strength going while you're waiting for the Lord. It is very important for us to hear. This is not my own message. This is not anyone's message. This is the one that came from God. That was his Hallelujah. Peter's battle ever fought. <clears throat> well, before going to the greatest battle, why don't uh, you open up uh, the message, let your light shine. When Jesus came, come, what kind of a class of people did he have?
when yeah. Jesus came, what kind of a class of people did he have to get? Uneducated, fishermen, men, Peter, apostle, the great saint, who was given the keys to the heaven, could not even sign his own name. So what type of people is he going to get? What class of people is he going to get? <clears throat> who could not even sign his own name, stunk with fish from the old fish popes, and things with old greasy apron on. This is Sir Peter that is uh, uh, being described to us right now. Uh, Jesus took that type of a man. Today, they kick him out of the church if he come in. Among <coughs> the the churches of today, once they see that uh, that uh, there's uh, one stinky man that comes inside, they're going to kick them out. It's because that they're, uh, they're, they're stinky. They're not uh, properly dressed. They're, they, they look ugly. They, they are not presentable. So, but in the time of Jesus Christ, this is the type of class, the class of people that God has taken. <clears throat> Today they kick him out of the church if he come in, right? So where is it? See, the people are looking for class. Mm -hmm. oh, the people are looking for class. And do you know the devil lives in class? Oh my! Oh, my. Uh, hallelujah! The devil oh, yeah. lives in class. Yes! Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Hallelujah! Preach it! Just yes. I just, I just want to let you know. Yes. So it's because when you say in class, there's a discrimination. Mm -hmm. You discriminate people. Uh, yes. <clears throat> but God never discriminates anyone. Exactly. Amen. So see, the people are looking for class, and do you know the devil lives in class? Do you know what caused the first battle in heaven? Mm -hmm. Do you know what caused the first battle in heaven? When uh, was when Lucifer set up a greater class of people? When Lucifer has taken the greater class of the angels, mm -hmm. the, the elite ones come with me. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Amen. oh my. The elite ones, those people, don't look at them because those people are just are just fishers of men. Those people are stinky ones. Those people are ugly ones. So all those elite ones who have the class come with me. Uh, uh, High in society. Is it what uh, happening now? This, I, I'm just telling you. I'm just reading you That's what 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 uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what uh, we're saying what, yeah. what we're saying right now. This percent of a greater class of people got a better class of angels. He thought build a bigger kingdom. Oh. He has made his own kingdom. He he wants to make it brighter. Oh my! Better than the other one. Better than Michael's kingdom. Oh That's the thing now that the Lucifer is thinking oh. is because of what? It's because of the jealousy that is yes. in him. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And that jealousy also is part because eventually that became a hatred. Hallelujah. And Cain became a murderer. It started Amen. From there. It started from there. Are you seeing it? Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. Very clear. Richard. <clears throat> he thought build a bigger kingdom and brighter, shiner kingdom than Michael. He, had he, he, he was kicked out of heaven. <laughs> See where class comes from? He's oh. staying away from class. Oh, my God. Be simple. God lives in simplicity. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what type of people are you. It doesn't matter what your job is. It doesn't matter whether you have hardships back in your own countries. It doesn't matter whether you're just eating the, the, the smallest food to sustain your living. God is not looking at that. God is looking on the richness that you have in your heart. How rich you have. What is the word that you keep? Hallelujah. What is the word that you give? That's the word that you retain in your heart. Amen. He's not looking at anything. No. He's not looking at your house. No. He's, right. He's, He's not looking at that. He's not yes. looking at your lifestyle. Yes. He's not looking whether you have a good car or not. No. Yes. Even if you are just walking, if you are walking every day going to the church, God doesn't matter because God will recognize that. It doesn't matter whether he didn't have much sleep. It doesn't matter whether you are too tired. But I want to hear the word. I will go to him and if I am. It doesn't matter whether I have to go. Brother, our brother just testified. Our brother just testified.
just testify it. Go to the work today. Go for overtime. I want to go to the overtime. I want to go to overtime. I, why don't you just come with me instead? Let me the word of God. Give some time to the Lord. That's the thing that he's looking for. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It doesn't matter whether you are here every Friday. Remember that. Because even if you are here every Friday and the intent of your heart is different, God will not recognize that. You are a filthy rocks. Amen. Hallelujah. So he's not looking for class. Class is from Lucifer. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> this great first battle that was ever fought began in heaven. When Michael and his angels fought against Lucifer and his angels, it first started. The first battle was in heaven. Let's read it again from top. This great first battle. It means the great first battle. It means that this is just the first of the greats. Are you getting it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is a great first battle, it means that there will be a great second battle. Oh. If there will be a great third battle. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. So the great first battle happened in the heavens. It means that there would be greater or or equivalent level of greatness. That of battle that will happen after that first battle that happened in heaven. Right. Are you following it? Yes. <clears throat> so the great first battle that was ever fought began in heaven when Michael and his angels fought against Lucifer and his angels. It first started, the first battle was in heaven. So sin did not originate. This is a, this will be something to you. Sin did not originate on earth, it originated in heaven. When we say the original sin, we are always talking about the original sin in man. So don't don't bring yourself in the Garden of Eden because that was the original sin in man. But the all the most origin of the sin happened in the heavens. Amen. It's because of the first unbelief, the first sin happened when the jealousy and hatred and the bitterness started in the in, in Satan himself. Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> So the first battle was in heaven, so sin did not originate on earth, it originated in heaven. And then it was thrown down from heaven, cast out of heaven to the earth, and fell on human beings. It was casted down from heaven, and it went down, so the battle continued on the earth. When it continued on the earth, it continued on the individuals. Hallelujah. It continued kingdoms against kingdom. It continued to country against country. It continued with, with civil wars in a country. Are you, are you, are you following me? Amen. War after war. All the events of war, all the rumors of war started. But war never ended in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are still, when you haven't known about God yet, you don't worry about war. Because you are not battling it. You are not battling against the enemy. You are with the enemy. So you don't worry, you don't concern about war. But it became harder and it became magnified when you started receiving the Lord. Because when you started receiving the Lord, that is the time that you realize that there are two kingdoms that is that are existing. And then you have to go to the better side. And when you went to the better side, that's where your soul was converted. Remember, conversion of the soul is important. The new birth is important. Because now it is the Holy Ghost that protects your soul. is battling against your mind and your flesh. Remember, our preaching in the past that the soul has been converted while you are still exposed on the activities of the enemy with your mind. And your flesh is still being taken by the enemy and being used by the enemy. That's right. That's right. So now it's a battle between your soul against your flesh. It is a battle of decision. Your decision maker is your soul. It is a battle with do I have to do this or do I have to do that? 
Do I have to do this or do I have to do that? Are you following me, Brian? Hallelujah. It is a battle every time. However, the protection that you only need is the protection of the Holy Ghost. Because once you are sealed by the Holy Ghost, all the decisions that will come to you is by the Lord. All the decisions that will come out from that heart that you get Amen. always comes with the word. It is always in alignment with the word. The only thing that you can say, Father, I could not do it on my own. I have no strength to do it. I cannot battle those demons that battle with Michael. We can't do it ourselves, They were too strong for you. But with God in us, yes. everything is possible. Yes. Amen. All things remain possible. And that was the daily battle that you have. That's daily, why. each and every one has their own battles. Amen. Wherever you are, don't say that you don't have any. If you say that you can stand alone, no, no. Even Lucifer started asking for some assistance. Remember? <laughs> you can say that you can stand alone. You cannot stand alone. You cannot stand on your own. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Darkness. So when Satan sent his army, he started sending his army on a different level. So every time that you go, there's some some but some demons of Satan following you as well. Exactly. You are protected by the angels of the Lord. But the, you are also being followed by the demons wherever you go. Remember that. Remember that God, God knows all things. So He knows what you're thinking. God knows what you're thinking. The difference between God and Satan, Satan doesn't know what you're thinking. Satan is only acting on what you do. Hallelujah. He, you are being guarded by his demons, but he is only acting on what you do because he knows your decision by the way that you speak. Yes. All the words that will come out of your mouth, they're monitoring it. Too many sensors all around the places. Hallelujah. Too many sensors that get the devil has put in you. Uh -huh. I speak this word. By the way, it's registered in the registry, big register yes. <laughs> of, the, of, 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 the, of Satan. And then there's a dashboard, a big dashboard. Between six. Oh, you see, <laughs> Brother Nestor <or> Tink. Yes. <laughs> Another thing for Brother Nestor Tink. Hallelujah. The devil is counting those, each and every one. You have a register, remember that. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, he has yes. a register. Hallelujah. Amen. On the other hand, God also has his register. Right. It's because he says that as long as his word is in you, you are covered by the blood of God. Yeah. That whatever you do, it doesn't matter. Even if you have thousands of thousands of thousands, I cannot see that. Because I, you are covered by the blood. So let them let, let them do all the hardships and all the hard hard works of counting the register. Amen. God is just going to ignore that because there's a wall of blood that protects his people. The only thing. So that's the thing that the, the devil is using against you. Look at your son, he does this again. I cannot see that. I am looking at the end product. My seed has already placed in there. They are part of me. Whatever happens, whatever they do, they are already part of me. They are already part of me. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Be careful with the devil this time. <laughs> After this service, definitely he's going to hit us back. <laughs> but don't worry, because there is one that is greater. Don't worry about what he do and about what he will do. Because there is someone that is greater in us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I would like to 
<laughs> and just just read one more scripture and then uh, we'll we'll end the service and continue next week. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In <clears throat> Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Let's open up the book of uh, Colossians. Just a uh, In, in Colossians 1 Seven from seven. Why don't we start it with three? We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which ye have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel which is come unto you, as it is in all the world. And bring it forth fruit as it doth also in you, since the day ye heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. And ye also learned of Ephalas, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto us <clears throat> your love in the Spirit, for this cause we also, since the day we heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that we might be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. <clears throat> Paul talking to the Colossians and uh, telling him, telling everyone in the Colossians uh, about uh, these things. <clears throat> and he says that for this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. So they, each, each one of us is praying against each other. Amen. We need the prayers of everyone. Amen. Wherever you are, Whenever you pray, always remember the saints. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray for your body. We pray, you pray for your body. When you ask for healing, you can ask for the healing of everyone because everybody is part of the, of the body. So we pray for each other. It's important that we pray. And to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and His spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord and to all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. He strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father which had made us made to be partakers of the inheritance. So giving thanks to the Father, just look at this, giving thanks unto the Father which had made us made to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life. So you became the inheritance partakers of the inheritance when we say inheritance again these are the spiritual blessings that you will be getting inheritance is the one that has given to us by the holy ghost holy ghost has too many power and all the power that the holy ghost has can be our inheritance yes. remember that the full potential of the holy ghost you won't be able to get the land the fruit of the land not unless you drill, do you have driven out the inhabitants of the land. Remember the preaching last week? So inheritance, the one that you will be receiving, all the blessings. Do you need the hospital? No, it's because of the Holy Ghost is there to heal you up. Do you, need to home, do you need a comforter? Do you need to go to the hospital for your mental issues? No, because the, the, the Lord God is our comforter and the giver of peace. So the Holy Ghost is there for the inheritance that you will be able to get. Inheritance of the saints in light. So you were already taken from the darkness. When you say saints in light, it means that you are you still in darkness? No. No, you are in light. Yeah. Why? It's because he had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated. When you say delivered, 
Is it going to happen or it has happened? It is a done. It is a done product. You are not going to be delivered, but you have been delivered. Remember that. So when the, when we say that the people of darkness, when darkness is there against the light, God said that you were already delivered. Amen. So even if you were still in darkness, you think, you thought that you were in darkness, but remember, you were already delivered. Yes. Amen. Even you acknowledge, even before you learn that you have, did, you, that you have been delivered, it's already been done. It has already been done. You who have delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And now we enjoy the light of the world. And now we enjoy hearing. And there's a blessing. And we have we are receiving his strength every time that you hear the word. In times of weaknesses. Don't look at those negative things in life. Those don't look at the hidden things of the darkness. But instead look at the word. It's because of the word of God will give you his strength. Let us Hallelujah. Turning the light into darkness. You have already been turned. Matagal na po pala na kayo ay na-deliver. It has been a long time since you have been delivered. This word of God has already been written 2,000 years ago. And no one is older than 1,000 years amongst us, right? <laughs> No one is even 100 years in our midst right now. Well, this word has already been written 2,000 years ago. Amen. But that has when he say delivered, it was before the foundation of the world. Amen. Even before building all the universe and everything, Hallelujah. you were already delivered from darkness. Hallelujah. And been translated to the word into the light of the Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. But it is of the Lord. <clears throat> All our battles is never ours. You will never win against the demons of this earth. You will never win against Satan. He is so powerful that those the things that he's going to show you is his power so that you can defeat it in your mind. And you will say, that's supernatural. I cannot work it out. But remember by faith. If there's a battle in supernatural, battle them with another supernatural. Amen. You cannot battle a less supernatural with a natural. If there's a supernatural battle, there's a supernatural equivalent to counter that uh, that uh, foe, that Amen. enemy. Amen. And it's your faith.
encouragement. Thank you, Lord, for all the words this morning. Thank you, Father, for giving us your strength one more time. Stand still. Amen. Help me out on the help me out on the on the stanza, please.
still in that way. We pray for your rule, Father.
Waiting, waiting until you come. And this 